Nolly and Trudeau are launching formal talks to nationalize the Trans Mountain Pipeline in an effort to save the project. But I want to know why Notley wasn't trying to meet with Justin Trudeau well before Edmonton, Alberta suddenly became Caracas, Venezuela. As news broke that Kinder Morgan was suspending all non-essential spending on the Trans Mountain Pipeline expansion, Premier Rachel Notley began demanding concrete action from Prime Minister Justin Trudeau to save the project from the scrap heap. And now, after holding a three-way summit with BC Premier Horgan, Trudeau and Notley have decided that their so-called concrete action to get the pipeline done is to just buy the thing, offloading the risk of their own inaction and failure as leaders onto us, the Canadian taxpayer. I wanted to know how it even got to this. How did Rachel Notley let it get this far? I mean, she seems really serious now about getting the pipeline done, so serious that she's willing to just take over a fully funded private sector pipeline in a way that would make Hugo Chavez blush from beyond the grave. But how serious was Notley before? I filed a freedom of information request with the Alberta Executive Council. Those are Rachel Notley's bureaucratic handlers way back in November 2017. It was right after Rachel Notley had taken her apparent pro-pipeline mission off to Ottawa. I wanted to know what kind of mission she had really just gone on. Was it political theater or a real effort to act in Alberta's best interest to get a private sector pipeline done and to get our oil to Tidewater? Here's what I asked the Executive Council. Provide copies of all documents, including emails, briefing notes, memos, etc., regarding the planning of the Premier's visit to Ottawa on November 21st and 22nd, 2017, including any meetings with the Prime Minister during the visit. What I learned is that at no point in those emails did Notley's team even try to reach out to the Prime Minister's people to get a meeting with him while she was in Ottawa on her alleged pro-pipeline walkabout. The only times, and I mean the only two times in all of these documents the words Trans Mountain even appear, is when the bureaucrats are referring to Notley's speech to the Economic Club of Canada, where she claims her climate leadership plan was pivotal in getting the Trans Mountain pipeline done. You can see here in this email to the Chief Operations Manager of the Economic Club of Canada, one of Notley's bureaucrats says that Notley will provide an update on Alberta's climate leadership plan, the most comprehensive in North America, and speak about how effectively Alberta is promoting jobs and economic opportunity <laughs> with meaningful environmental action. You see, Notley's visit to Ottawa last November wasn't about promoting the pipeline at all. It was about Notley promoting her climate leadership plan, bragging about her carbon tax, and promoting herself as a global leader in the fight against climate change. Notley's trip to Ottawa was to show herself off and pat herself on the back. In the meantime, back home, the certainty around getting the Trans Mountain pipeline done was quickly disintegrating. Notley was in Ottawa bragging about how she's creating jobs and economic opportunity with her carbon tax, while investment was fleeing our jurisdiction and Kinder Morgan began running out of patience with us. But you know what was really top of mind for Rachel Notley and her director of scheduling when she was in Ottawa? Making sure that Notley had video footage and photographs of her time as a newborn pipeline thespian in Ottawa. Now that Kinder Morgan is done with us, now that they've decided Alberta and really all of Canada are not a good risk for their investors' money, Notley and Trudeau are talking, talking about saving the pipeline. They waited until it was too late, but I think that was probably their plan all along. For the Rebel.media, I'm Sheila Gunn-Reed. Premier Rachel Notley has said all along that her carbon tax is the reason that we were getting the Trans Mountain Pipeline. Well, we don't have the pipeline and we still have the tax. And I've had it. And I hope you have too. To sign my petition, go to repealthecarbontax.com.